Good morning, everyone. On today's show, we've got Chris Benson with us, the author of No More 9 to 5, the new best-selling book about work-life balance in the current working world. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, Anna. So, Chris, tell us about your book and how the concept of a work-life balance has been changing. Well, in the more traditional workplaces, people's working lives and their private lives are, or were, clearly divided. People often work from nine in the morning until five or six in the evening. People sometimes stay late in the office and work in the evenings. This is called working overtime. Okay, and what else? Well, in these environments, it isn't common for people to work at the weekend or while they're on holiday. They can clearly separate their working lives and their private lives. And the evenings, weekends, and holidays are free to focus on non-work areas of life, such as hobbies, interests, sports, spending time with the family and friends, and so on. It's important and healthy not to spend all your time just working, right? Right. So, what has changed? How are things different now? Well, for a start, most people can now access their work emails from their mobile phones, so they are more likely to quickly reply to an important mail in the evening or at the weekend. The same goes for laptops. It's easier to access your work in the evenings from home or even from your hotel when you're on holiday. That doesn't sound like much of a work-life balance. It sounds like all work. Exactly. But this new mobility brings a lot of advantages with it. More people are now able to work flexibly. So if they need to leave the office early one afternoon to be with their family, they can catch up on work that evening from home or somewhere else. That sounds good. So what you're saying is that although traditional divisions between work and life are fading, many employees now have more freedom to do their work from different locations and at different times. Yes, that's it. 